In this video, you can learn more about why work is a resource that should be maintained even when work is not pain-free. Work has traditionally been perceived as an obstacle rather than a resource for people with long-lasting pain conditions. But work is the primary social network for most people, and being unemployed increases the risk of reporting lower quality of life, mental health issues, and further loss of function. Chronic pain is a disease in itself, and it can be necessary to change habits and other things as a consequence in order to reduce the distress and disabilities related to pain at work. But importantly, there is no reason to believe that work will damage people with chronic pain. In fact, for the majority, the physical load on the body from work is much lower than the load we apply through normal activities and exercise, which is recommended for everyone with chronic pain. But despite the benefits of returning to work for people with chronic pain, the process is very difficult. A very common obstacle is unhelpful beliefs regarding pain, such as believing that work will damage your body or that sitting in the wrong way caused the pain in the first place. Such thoughts are believed to be associated with increases in pain, fear and worries. Equally, co-workers may share these thoughts, which can then lead to stigmatization and questioning of whether the person in pain will be able to fulfill his or her job sufficiently in the future. Therefore, education and involvement of the workers and colleagues, and maybe even representatives from the workplace, is a very good place to start. Secondly, adjustments in ergonomics and workload can be of benefit to some, although it may not have added benefits for everyone. Likewise, gradual return to work and possibilities for the worker to work from home and at old hours can be ways to accommodate for the new routines and periods with pain flare-up. In summary, returning to work is always a relevant goal for most people with chronic pain. Some may need to work part-time, while others will need to adjust their work to their capacity. Ideally, working despite pain is likely to outweigh the negative consequences of sick leave or unemployment on health and socio-economic factors for most people.